In this video, we'll answer the question, what is two-factor authentication? What can it do for me? And how do I get started? So what is two-factor authentication? Two-factor authentication is when we make sure that you are you by asking you something you know and asking you to use something you own. So at ASU, if you're going to go to a page that presents sensitive data, such as your banking information or particular information about students, staff, or faculty, then we'll have you log in with your ASU Write ID and password. Most of us are used to that. But now with two-factor, we'll also ask you to send a signal back and forth from your phone. This gives us better assurity that you are who you say you are. For instance, in this example, we've logged into my ASU, gone to my employment, and clicked on direct deposit. We were already logged into my ASU with our password, but now with two-factor, we needed to use our phone to tell the system that indeed, we are who we say we are. Would you like to be protected? How do you get started? Go to my ASU and the profile tab and click on the link in the Emergency and Alert Preferences box to enroll in the program. Here's a quick demo. Here we'll start the setup. There are several different options here. The one that's recommended is your mobile phone, either a smartphone or a cell phone. You can also have your tablet or a landline. Here you'll enter your phone number. Click to confirm that it's the correct number and press continue. Select the type of phone, and here you're prompted to install Duo Mobile on your phone. I have already installed it. Once you've installed Duo Mobile, you'll open the Duo Mobile on your phone, then tap the plus button and then scan this barcode. Or you can have the activation link emailed to you instead. If you choose to do the email link, it will send it to your phone, and then from there you can click on the link. So here's my phone. So I'm holding up my phone. I've started on my phone, Duo Mobile, and there's a plus sign in the upper corner. I've clicked on that, and then I've held the phone up until I've scanned the barcode, and then it turned into this check mark, and then we can go continue. On my phone, I now have the Duo Mobile account listed. So I'll click continue. So here it will let me pick my default device. And if I want to, I can say whether I want it to send me a duo push or a phone call. So everything is set, so I will say save. And that's all there is to enroll in Duo Mobile.